Today the Lord talks to us about priorities in our lives. In this uh, season and in this world in which we live in, we know this to be true. That it is very easy sometimes to become distracted. Distracted and pulled away from what our priorities are or what should be very important to us. In Psalms chapter 16 and verse number 11, the Lord speaks to us in this one verse and he shows us a a three-way process of really getting to the heart of, of priorities and how those priorities can bring us such immense pleasure in our lives. Listen to Psalm 16 and verse number 11. Lord, you will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Some of those, some of the priorities in life are the same for every, everybody. Seeking the kingdom of God, loving your neighbor, uh, you know, reading our Bibles and praying on a, on a regular basis. But some priorities are very unique to your season of life, wherever you are. Consider taking some time today to think about the top priorities of your life. And let me ask you a question this morning. What does God want you to devote your time and your energy to at this point in your life? Just taking care of your spiritual, your emotional, your mental, and your physical health. Does that make it on your list of priorities today? If you give careful attention to those things, I guarantee you, you'll have the energy and the time to fulfill everything else that God has called you to do today. So try not to let distractions pull you away from the path that the Lord has for you, because it's the only one that will lead to joy. Look at verse number 11 again and watch this process. First of all, the psalmist asked the Lord to show him the path of life. The Bible speaks clearly of two paths that a person can take. One is called the path of destruction and one is called the path of life. Now distractions can often lead to destruction. But oftentimes distractions are simply meant to derail or prolong the path that God has us to be on all along. But now once the psalmist says, once you show me the path of life, it will lead me into your presence. Look at what it says. In your presence is fullness of joy. You want joy in your life? You got to get on that path of life that leads you to joy. And that comes from making priorities in your life and keeping those the main thing. And the main and top priority that all of us should have in our life is to grow our spiritual life and to spend as many moments as we can in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let's follow this up now. Because he says, lead me to the path of life and that will lead me into your presence. And then once I am in your presence, look how he ends this verse. At your right hand there are pleasures. There are pleasures. What are the true pleasures of life? I believe we know this to be true. They're the simple things of life. They're not the complicated. They're not the most expensive. They're not the the, the latest gadgets. They're not any of those things. Those are temporary things that always lead us to want more out of life. But when we seek the pathway of life that leads us closer into the presence of God that's when we find the true pleasure of life now look what he says pleasures forevermore as long as we're in the presence of God we will experience the pleasures of God but we will never experience the pleasures of God unless we get on the path that leads to that kind of life So today I want you to be safe, I want you to be strong, I want you to be blessed. I always kind of try to tell you that. But what I also want you to do today is take some time to sit down and prioritize what's really important in your life. And make sure that God is at the top of that list. Seek Him early. Seek Him often. 
Seek Him forevermore. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, try to spend your morning moments with Jesus. And have a great and wonderful day.